This has gone from being one of the most collegial and enjoyable work environments for many of the staff to being a house of horrors. They made the allegations in confidence to CBC News, then repeated them in person to investigators, who have now laid out their findings. Quintet concludes that there is a serious problem that requires PCO's immediate attention. 92 people participated and overwhelmingly raised concerns. 43 called it a hostile or negative work environment. 26 said it was toxic or poisoned. Others described it as an atmosphere of humiliation, disrespect, condescension, a non-inclusive workplace, the definition of a poisoned work environment, employees are stressed out and worn out. Validating what the government said was coming. This report had some uh, disturbing conclusions uh, and those conversations led the Governor, governor General to, uh, to conclude that she should offer her resignation. Allegations of yelling, screaming, aggressive conduct, demeaning comments and public humiliation. 20 people said they witnessed harassment and it took its toll. 17 people said they left Rideau Hall because of the workplace environment. 13 said they took sick leave for the same reason. Despite all of this, no formal complaints. There was so much fear and such little trust, employees doubted anything would happen. The culture was so suppressed there that any complaint would be surmised to have been met by um, further uh, retaliatory tactics by the, um, the office of the secretary of the governor general, that being the chief of staff and uh, those involved in the uh, human resources and labor relations environment. Okay, so Ashley, what else does the report confirm about your reporting? Well, the report spells out the broad problems, but it doesn't go into the specific details, the incidents. And what our sources say is that behind some of that redacted material is what we reported last night, that some of these cases involving the former Governor General Julie Payette extended from the verbal to the physical, and in some cases, people felt threatened. Now, this independent firm was not tasked with investigating each and every claim to find out if it was founded, but they did conclude that there was a toxic work environment that existed for years, and that it will take years to repair the damage. Okay, Ashley Burke continuing to work this story for us tonight. Thanks. Thank you.